Hey, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I'm here with my good buddy Mike, who I've known for over 15 years, a bubble ambassador, and we're sitting here at the Shannon Archer Memorial Bench. It's just over to the side here. Uh, I've decided now that I'll just have my sessions next to the bench, not to offend anyone. And uh, it's just a beautiful day here in British Columbia. Heading up to, the, to uh, Squamish on the way up to Whistler on our motorcycles. And uh, we thought we would stop and I would tell you a little bit about this Apex electronic cigarette that I recently got turned on to in uh, Jamaica. So I realize the camera angle is pretty dark, but uh, I wanted to show you this. We're going to have a little session. It'll be my first time hitting this unit. My buddy Bird, who I met in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. Awesome dude. This guy is fun. He's going to come up. You'll like Bird. Okay. Really, really mm -hmm. character of a guy. And so he uh, gifted me this and said, check it out, see what you think. I was hitting one in Jamaica and I was quite impressed with it. So we've got this uh, really big, uh, strong metal. He always bangs it to show how strong it is. And, uh, you know, you've got your dome right here. He's got the ceramic dish with the um, titanium element. It's a little bit bigger and deeper than most that I've seen. It gives a real serious rip. Um, it also comes with a charger. A little silicone case for your hash, uh, a steam version, a vaporizer version for herb that screws on, and then the oil version as well. Although any pen will fit on the um, Apex battery because it's the same. I don't know if it's 10 mil or what the size is exactly, but it's the same as the majority, 99% uh, of all the pens out there. So I figured. And how long does the battery last? Four days. Wow. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Now, that's what he says. I told him, dude, I bet you I kill it in a day. And he says, I bet you don't. <laughs> so, let's put it to the test. I'll give you two days. Watch us kill it right now in three hits. <laughs> yeah. With the bugs. Is See, it brand new with a factory charge, or did you give it a charge? Yeah, it's basically brand new with a factory charge. How's that for a little fill-up? That's a topper. I got ants all over me right now. I must be sitting on the nest. In there. That's a good amount. Yeah, that's full. Clean the edges. Rip that dome. You like to do the honors, brother? Oh, thank you. Front button. It kind of sits in your hand. So you can do kind of this or yeah. this? I was kind of doing do this top. way and had it in my hand. Or you could do it this way. You could do it any way you yeah. want. I wouldn't turn it at too much of an angle with the powder for the beginning, but once you Here we go. Once you flame on, oh yeah. I definitely globed right out right away and turned to a nice smoky nice yeah. little chamber here you can look at your vapor yeah how's that taste really good a little 99 percent dry sift really good nice the aftertaste is amazing <laughs> yeah dude mm. thank you for that honor hell yeah wow i like it and they call it an electronic cigarette <laughs> Liquid yeah, but I think I swear he should call it something yeah. different. <coughs> it's kind of some next level shit. <coughs> oh, it comes with a little tool. <coughs> yeah, a little dabber tool for getting your shit in there. Nice, you can tell the parts are high quality. What's that, the charger in here? Yeah. And then the battery. Look at that. It's like a little... It's not a smaller than a battery. C. But bigger than... Yeah. Your standard vape pen. 3.7 volt, 18, 800 milliamps. So, uh, yeah, that's got quite a charge, man. You could probably go four days. I can see that. Yeah. It's a real deal, for sure. And it complements the whole size of the thing. Yep. Big enough to house that battery. That's what I'm saying. And the way it fits in the hand is quite nice as well. I do like this sort of thing right here. Mm -hmm. Does it have an <coughs> on and off auto kind of thing? So when you pack it away, does it, like, you know, a lot of vaporizers have a five button on off? It doesn't do that. Oh. But he said he's never had the problem. It's such a heavy button mm. that it doesn't like feel how heavy that button is. So you really got true. You it's know, compared to that button. little plastic button that all you have to do is lean it up against That's something. Right. It's a spring-loaded button. It's a spring-loaded button, out. exactly. Pretty cool little product, I gotta say. I'm definitely hats off to the Apex Pen. Uh, we'll be carrying them on fresh headies here in the near future. 
And uh, we still carry trippy sticks, so check us out for uh, our variety of vapor pens that we promote. Remember, I only use the two, the ones that work the best for me. And props to the dry sift, too. Yeah, killer. Beautiful. Was that an Astro one? No, that was, um, oh, it was an OG Kush Cross, a fruity OG Kush Cross. I don't remember the name of it. All right. I cleaned it for a friend. So we're going to continue our ride here. We're here by, on motorcycles. We're going to continue up on the highway 99 towards Squamish. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, peace. All right, guys, so we just arrived here in Squamish. You can see uh, the chief over in the distance, that big giant chunk of granite behind the Tim Hortons. And uh, this is the shady tree. They got some really nice food here. We're going to go in and have a salmon burger or something along that line. So in the shade. Uh, in the shade. Why don't you guys come with us? Any little bit helps. It's all fun and games until someone closes the bar. My, mine would be it's all fun and games until the D-nail breaks. <laughs> no fake backup. Exactly. All right, here we go. Please seat yourselves, all right. We can do that. No kids, because it's all right. So there's the salmon burger from the shady tree that I was talking about. What do you got, buddy? It's a full pork. Ooh, with onion rings. Onion rings. Nice. And Bob looking up like he's looking above, up above the onion rings. <laughs> yeah. Time to eat. All right, guys. Welcome back. Mike and I are now at... I guess we're at Britannia, Britannia Beach. Yeah, Britannia Mines are right there. Yeah, so if you've ever driven uh, home from Whistler, this is the Sea to Sky Highway, Pacific Ocean on the right. We're right in front of a giant mine. They used to film X-Files and such things in there, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, it's an old copper mine. Yeah, exactly. Kids have gone and uh, done the tour with their school. Yeah, Scooby-Doo was shot there. All right, that as well. So, we're sitting next to the ocean. We thought, we haven't dabbed yet. So I got the Hitman out, put a little water in it, and yes, uh, Mike said, is it okay that it's salt water? It's gonna have to be for now. Seawater. Seawater. Oh, I actually gotta get one more piece of the puzzle, which is a very important factor. It is the nail. I thought I should bring this over. Seaside nails? Seaside nails! Let me get the nail out, see what's going on. Torch to bring our temperatures up to nail. Park. Yes, yes, yes. What temperatures do you need for the nails to work? Uh, we just heat it up orange and then wait for a few minutes and then dab it or wait for a few seconds. We usually just heat up the right side, which you can get on doing just like this. I want to kind of hear that sound to make sure you know the torch there, that sound. This is great for portability. It's my first torch nail. You get the sound, that sound right there. So we're hitting some full melt dry sift that I made about a month back. I think it was uh, an OG Kush cross from uh, a friend up in Prince George, a friend of D420Ks. Shout out to Jay for uh, for this dry sift. Man, it's got to be like 95 degrees right now. Yeah, and a little even more with this torch next to it. Yeah, right? All right, well, let's see, we'll give that a little bit more of a hit. Alright, I think she's a go. I think she's a go, Mike. Well that was a real nice rip. Well, real man. nice. Look at that quality too, eh? Right? Clean ends. Very pure. It's definitely good. Funny thing uh, to tell you guys, we climbed a gnarly fence to get in here. <coughs> Thinking it's just, you know, it was tough. We gotta climb in, we gotta get in here. There's this huge fence right here. We're not supposed to be in here. And uh, there's not a fence like 30 feet back. <laughs> so we won't be jumping the fence unnecessarily this heat, time. Heat up the other end, the other side, the opposite side, yeah. Oh yeah, I see your orange and out. Tempted to go for a swim. Yep. 
Pitman ribs by the Pacific Ocean. I wish you guys could see exactly how much that was bubbling in here, almost overflowing. Like yeah, magma. It melted up quite nice, didn't it? Well done. So I guess we're about 15 to 20 minutes away from uh, the home station. So it shouldn't be too far for us to get back. The highway is quite busy, it being Sunday on, I guess, some sort of holiday. It's, uh, yeah, BC Day. Oh, tomorrow's the stat holiday. Okay. So today's the Sunday long weekend. Uh, yes. So lots of cars coming down from Whistler. Tons of cars coming down. I couldn't believe it. And, uh, maybe we're going to go for a dip in this ocean right now. It's so hot. I'm telling you, man. It's the right thing to do, pretty much. See me in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got, Thanks for that rip of them, man. Yeah, most uh, welcome, right? Yeah, good stuff. So our next adventure takes us to Lions Bay. LB. Yeah. We're off to LB. If we have a swim, we'll share a little bit of it. If not, see you guys in LB. See ya.